the Egg Witch. I'm going to tell you a story about when my 14th birthday was cancelled. Let me set the scene. It was my first birthday since I moved in with my mother. I was really, really excited for this one. It was only going to be a small family affair. My auntie and my uncle were coming over with my cousins, who I really got along with. And then it was just my brother and my sister and my mum and my stepdad. No stress. Not like it was with my father. Which is what I thought. So my mother asked me to get the house in order before she got home from work for the party. And she's a bit of a clean freak, so I assumed that she meant like hoovering, polishing, cleaning, that kind of thing. And yeah, I was expected to do all that stuff because I always said yes and my brother and sister always said no, so I was always expected to do that. Moving on, because I was so excited, um, me and my sister and my brother kind of messed around for most of the day. I did get the bathroom cleaned, I did have the living room polished, and I did make sure that the dining room was tidy. But by the time my mother came home, I didn't have the floors washed and I didn't have the hoovering done. I told her that there's still time before my auntie and my cousins are coming over and I'll do it now. No dice. Yeah, she was not happy. So right there and then, she rang up my auntie, told her that the birthday party is cancelled and not to come over. She threw out all the party supplies into the bin and the birthday cake and all the treats and she kept my mobile phone that I was supposed to get for my birthday for herself. She sent me up to my room for the whole day on my birthday. I spent the whole day crying on my 14th birthday locked in my room. My sister felt sorry for me. She stayed up with me. She stayed with me the whole day and then when my parents went to bed when my stepdad and my mother went to bed my sister left the room and she came in about 10 minutes later with a cupcake and a lit candle on top and I'll be honest with you I'll never forget that act of kindness it was I actually smiled at a time where <laughs> You know, it wasn't really a smiling time. The following day, I thought they changed their mind and gave me my phone. But no, my mother had already switched over her SIM card to my phone, my new phone. And um, basically, it was just shoving it in my face. My birthday present from my auntie was a gift card <laughs> to her own salon. She... She's self-employed. She has no employers. She has a salon in her garage. And she gave me a gift card for it. She's my godmother. Do you think maybe she could have like spent a little bit of money on her? On me, I mean. And just to add, a few months later, um, <laughs> we started, we got back to normal again. And I brought the gift card over to my auntie's. And I was like, can I, um, can I cash this now? Can I, you know, get stuff done to my hair and stuff? She goes, Oh, it's, it's, uh, expired. I honestly don't remember any of my birthdays after that because of that birthday. It kind of overshadowed all of my subsequent birthdays. I don't remember any of my birthdays because of that. I... Don't remember if they're good. I don't remember if they're bad. That birthday just overshadowed them. And so that was the first of many bad omens when I moved out of my father's house and into my mother's house thinking I was going to have a better life. Oh, how wrong I was. Anyway, I thought I'd vent. Very depressing, but... A nice act of kindness by my sister. We don't get on now, but I still appreciate it. Narcissistic parents, am I right? It's long. <laughs>